Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's quick tip. I'm Chris, and I'm here with Mike. And today we'll be talking about the job gradation curves preset in Ergosoft. So, Mike, we were just discussing a practical scenario about how to use this tool, and you did a great job of kind of talking through it. So, let's walk everyone through how they could use this preset, maybe explain what it does, and then Give us a practical scenario. No problem. Job gradation curves preset is a job preset. So once again, make sure you don't have any images selected. So your job options pop up in your properties panel. And we're going to go to job gradation curves. Uh, if you click, you see there's not really any pre-made curves because they're all specific to each workflow and each printer and everything. So we're going to click new. In here, you can do the curves for all your channels, if you check this box here, or you can actually make them specific to one channel. For instance, your magenta isn't saturated enough. You can up that a little bit, right? For this situation, the one that you were mentioning, um, we had a customer that had a printer that was printing more, way more saturated on every color than an older printer. So what they did, is they just took this curve, you just click and hold and drag it up, and they drug it up about right there, did that, and they saved it. And let's save this as um, printer to match, because that's what they were using for, and it worked out very well for them. And let's hit OK. So whenever they were using printer one, the older printer, they would use the printer to match gradation curve and what they printed came out way more accurate to what it was printing like on the new printer. Outstanding. Okay. And then so using the kind of logic of presets in general, theoretically, we would be able to have a couple of these different options depending on, you know, a file type or a product type. Maybe there's a different behavior on a different piece of material. So, uh, once you dial in the manual adjustment to the curve, quickly save it as a preset off to the right. Exactly. Races. Yep. Awesome. And then one quick question in terms of determining how to adjust the curve, there's not any visual preview because of the complexity involved. So probably just want to have everyone bear in mind that when you are adjusting a curve, it is going to have uh, an, an impact on things in a way that's really only going to be identifiable visually on material, on substrate. Definitely. Um, if if I were trying to do something like this and I didn't know how far up to make my curve go, right, I would just maybe make different variations of it. One that goes up just a little bit, make another one that goes up a little bit more, and then a little bit more, save those out as, you know, A, B, C, D, and then whichever one works and is accurate and is how you want it to be, keep that one, rename it from your preset manager, and have that one be your final um, curve. Yeah, that's a very, very good idea. Um, and then we also kind of stumbled onto one additional point, which is uh, you have the ability to identify multiple points within that curve and manipulate it more granularly if you prefer. So here we see Mike making some radical adjustments to the curve, but uh, it's important for everyone to know that you can <laughs> you can do it like that if you wanted to. Yeah. That's great. All right, thanks a lot, Mike, as always, and thanks for watching, everyone. Please contact us if you have any questions.